myself. <laughs> I'm, I must be feeling uh, pretty good today. <laughs> Next step would be uh, uh, would be uh, the general uh, general internet uh, uh, experience. So, what, do you want uh, to go around and scream to everyone, "I'm here, I'm here, I'm here"? When you're, what you want to do is to uh, hide yourself from uh, the bad people. No, you don't want to do that. So, uh, uh, by default, it it screams, uh, it screams that you're here. So, you you want to stop this. You put ho their whole network into stealth mode. Unfortunately, as soon as you connect to a single computer, that computer will have uh, your uh, your know where you are in the internet so there's absolutely no way to defend yourself uh, to hide yourself once you uh, once you made a connection but until then you might you want to hide yourself and what uh, what what attacks usually hidden or non hidden will be those those are the usual usual attack but you will get much less of the, those if you're in stealth mode Next, what you want to do is block your ports. So you will only want to allow the ones that you'll use. So this is uh, for browsing. This is for uh, uh, email. This one and uh, this one will be for email. Also, this one. This one will be for chatting and so on and so forth. This one is used is uh, is a traditional one. It was traditionally traditionally used for networking but it was uh, very very unsecured so it was it a lot it was added to be sure to be blocked so but you might want to get this if you have a network that you you're not connected to an outside network you might want to put this on your network you will have uh, added the features windows features for network but uh, and nowadays you most most likely not want to want this if you're a uh, uh, security is savvy or you want to get savvy you will likely want to uncheck this one and add uh, items one by one you want to want to add ports add ports add ports and uh, so you'll only allow ports that you uh, that you want what, what, what would happen if you have an attack a su sufficiently sophisticated attack what would happen is they would manually get inside your computer to another port let's say to HTTP and it would try to open port uh, try to open an inbound port port so they will get inside and they will uh, do manual stuff it's pretty long for them and uh, risky too and then they're gonna use they're gonna open another port let's say 666 so the devil port <laughs> yes I must be really feeling happy today <laughs> that's unusual so uh, the devil port uh, it will be open and then will, they will be able to use uh, a software already made it, 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 so they're not going to uh, need to be manual on their attacks they're going to have buttons and they're going to be really easy for them they just can have scripts and stuff and really easy through this inbound port it's going to be free fall it's like the, the back door will be open so you will have a, a, a very uh, secured front door but uh, open back door so of course they're gonna pry everywhere uh, to see what's uh, the, the easiest way to get inside your house so uh, you will uh, want to address this uh, unfortunately my uh, my network security my network firewall is not really sophisticated uh, you will probably likely will be places where you enter ports and you will tell which computers and, and stuff like that um, <clears throat> I think I have it yes I, I have it your application support come on so there you go you can uh, add a uh, you can here go to other I'm sorry yes here so you would say here uh, a hacker tool then you would here put 666 uh, just in case he, he or she will put 669 then they will put uh, other data here, and then it will add definition. I'm not gonna get, to, I'm not gonna do this, but I'll just show you uh, that it's here. 
So, <clears throat> let me gather my thoughts. So going back to my presentation, uh, we have this, really risky, we want a protection. The protection would be uh, protecting your whole network. This is, will be the first step. So all the ones that really obvious, uh, almost no one would want this, you put it here. And then uh, it, this, this is actually inside this. So this is just to have a nice visual effect, but this part is inside here. So the, the you see here, you have an orange part. This this computer would be orange. So this would be uh this would be red. Uh, really really problematic. This would filter out the, the really obvious problems, and then it would uh, broadcast uh, the the information data everywhere uh, on your all your computers. Then they would uh, split uh, the information back outside for for the internet so here you might uh, get a virus but uh, you might want to stop spreading your viruses to your other computers or to your internet that might uh, infect your friends or your 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 colleagues and stuff or other innocent people on the internet well uh, it's they yeah, almost they would Probably likely get it from somewhere else anyway, but I'm just saying, you know, if you even if you're not protected inbound, you might want to protect yourself outbound. So, uh, but so it doesn't affect others. Also, a uh, good thing I just did this. It will uh, hog your uh, bandwidth. So you know the the virus might use uh, one meg per minute or one meg per ten minutes. So they will keep try to affect others so this will hog your bandwidth and uh, the, the, if you, you're likely uh, if you live in uh, Canada or uh, you live in countries where your bandwidth is lim limited uh, it will cost you money uh, if uh, at the end of the month if you uh, your usual habits is pretty close to the limit so uh, join me for another uh, segment of this uh, basic web security tutorial.